Venture 2011. Thanks for joining us here at the Brown Arch, very uh, steeped in history. And I uh, have some special announcements today. And to start things off, I'd like to introduce EA Chairman and longtime Air Venture Chairman, Tom Poberesti. Tom? Field here. It is awesome. Something you have to see on your own. Just a second. Can I turn it off? I'm on. Okay. Um, like making a living. You know, you're probably wondering why I asked you to come here today. And I'll tell you why. So what and uh, why, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, I actually came here today because I'm announcing I'm my retirement, for, uh, and, and I'm going to tell you why. You know, in, in life, anymore. there's the one letter that can be your failure, and two letters that can be your success. What's the one letter? I. The two letters are W E. We. What's that say about you, Frank? So when I talk here today, I want to talk about we, not I. I'm a person. Yes, obviously, I'm the center of this Enjoy. announcement. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about we. Why am I retiring? I've been with this organization for 49 years. How many of you in this audience are not even 49 years old yet? I know. And I spent my whole life working for the organization, very proud of what we have done together. But like anything, there's always a time, and nobody knows when that is. And you can always say, when's the right time? I can always tell you when the wrong time is, and when you look back and say, I wish I would have done it then rather than now. So this is a personal decision, thinking for a long time. And why I do it now? Because I want to do it I'm talking to my friends and those who have made this a special event. As you see, I don't have prepared remarks. I've always been one that doesn't speak that way. But the Lord gave us two eyes, one ear, two, excuse me, two eyes, two ears, a mouth, and a heart. And I like to speak from the heart. So that's what I'm going to do. A little while ago, I watched Blue Angels take off, or Blue Angels 7. The sound, the excitement, get your blood curdling. I look at the brown arch. And before you leave here, please, I ask you, before you leave here, go over and read the sign about the Brown Arch. About the millions of people who passed through that arch to fulfill their aviation dreams. This has become home. And I ask you to do one other thing, please. Read the inscriptions here at this special place. Those brief inscriptions tell you how much this place, this event, means to them. Oshkosh, the event, doesn't last for one week. That's 365 days a year. EAA is not an organization. It's not a business. It's a way of life. It's a culture. It's, it's personal. Each one of us lives it in a different way. It's very special to me. When I look back over the years, my dad found the organization in 1953 in our basement. I had no idea what EA was all about or where it was going. People always asked, are you going to be a pilot just like your dad? I didn't know because I, wouldn't, I wanted to be sure I wasn't going to do it because of his interest. And eventually I came to work for EA to be for six months. That was over 40 years ago. And I look back, there are many things that I value out of this relationship, many things. But among those that are special, I want to share with the members is this event, this location, Oshkosh. You built it. 6,000 plus volunteers were dedicated to a mission, a mission you established. Very special. What people always ask me, what do I like the best about Oshkosh? What excites me? They always ask, what airplane? It's no airplane. It's my pride. The ability to take people around and show them what you've accomplished. I've had the pleasure of taking credit for what you've done. Yesterday, I took a gentleman around, Mr. Ito. Mr. Ito is the head of Honda Global, the number one person at Honda. As you know, the Japanese have a culture. I bowed a lot yesterday. They acknowledged me. This gentleman was, for lack of a better word, blown away by what you've accomplished. The high standards, the cleanliness, the way people are treated, the respect for each other. 
you done? That is the greatest pride that I have. Number two, my dad's here. We had an argument. I guess you could call it that. Years ago, when it was time to move to Oshkosh, he wanted to put up a metal building. I said, let's make it something right more, because this is going to be the home for aviation. This comment was, okay, if you know so much, you do it, which is called delegation of authority. And I'm very proud to say that we together built the EAA Aviation Center, which has become the year-round home for aviation, not just one week a year. Year-round. The third, third thing is Young Eagles. How many of you have flown Young Eagles, kids? Almost everybody here. When we set a goal of flying a million kids by 2003, nobody thought we could do it. Everybody thought it would be impossible. We did it, we thought we'd quit. But you demanded to keep it going because it was important to the organization, to sharing the gift of flight. And eventually, over 12,000 young men and women would become pilots as a result of the impact that the Angles had in their life. There'll be more and more to come. The list goes on and on. EAA is an outstanding organization. It has a unique role within the aviation community. There are many fine organizations that are Washington-based, advocacy-based. This is a field organization that's where the action is. You make it happen. We have a wonderful staff. They facilitate. You make it happen. Our job is to support you, the volunteers, whether it's here, the chapters, our aircraft operations, the whole thing. And I wanted to share this with you because the thing is, I say it from my heart. I say it from my heart that this organization has great opportunity going forward. The keys to this organization, please remember, you've always respected the legacy, the past. Through the airplanes and through the people that we bring here every year, the Bob Hoovers, the Burt Rattans, those that have served in World War II and beyond. And even today, right over there, about 45 minutes ago, I signed a jacket that's going to be auctioned off at the gathering. And it was a jacket of a young man who lost both his legs in Afghanistan. And you're sitting there as Marines, his visit here. He gave the greatest sacrifice of all, but he was so proud to be here. And those are the stories that make Oshkosh special. Those stories are important. Going forward, this organization has tremendous potential. It had tremendous, and it will be even greater going forward. What you have done, what you all can do for aviation, is unbelievable. I'm still going to be involved in aviation. I'm going to be involved in a lot of things. But I'll tell you what, I'm not going to miss looking at my Blackberry every morning. I'm not going to miss looking at my cell phone every two minutes. I'm not going to miss at night with it on mute, slinking around at midnight and looking down into the blanket to see what's going on so I didn't wake up my wife. You know, EAA is a 24-hour a day, seven-day-a-week job. But it's not a job. It's something that's very dear to me, to my family. Since I've been married, my wife only knew one thing, EAA and air shows. This has been very special for my wife, Sharon, for my daughter, Leslie. Important part of it. Bingo. Hard landing. <laughs> but like anything else, when you want to move on, it's not so much moving on because you want to, it's because you see the fact that you have opportunities to fulfill that you haven't done yet. And that's what I want to do. I'll be 65 years old. Didn't work very well. I'll be 65 years old in just a few days. And there's still things I want to do, and I've come to realize that I have, won't have a chance to do them if I don't take the time to do it. There's places I want to go, things I want to do, things I want to share. But what happens is the fact is that when you're so integrated in something, sometimes it's hard to let go. And then someday you wake up and realize that. And when you do, it feels good. Because people tell you how great it is, but until you experience it yourself, you don't know. So this is not a press conference. This is a message to the members. We have obviously the media here. And I hope you capture the heartfelt things. As he comes back on the power. Sincere appreciation for the friendships and the courtesies, but more importantly, for allowing me to take some level of credit for what you have done. And I want to give the credit back to all of you for what you have done. And the challenge is to do it even better and greater than has been done in the past. And don't ever forget what a special place this is. I know you won't, 
because this is the home of aviation. And it's needed now more than ever before. Somebody asked a question yesterday at the press conference about government and what's going on in government, the impact it's going to have on aviation. I think you remember that, right? Government doesn't impact aviation. You do. We can overcome them just like everything else. We want their cooperation, but we don't need their help. We want their cooperation, but we don't need their help. You, right here, make the biggest difference in aviation, and you know it. So, I want to say thank you. I'm excited about the future. I'm glad I did it here because the airplanes keep telling me out. And I want to do it at this spot because you can see this is the EA that started. This is the brown arch that brought everybody through. And this is the standard that will keep you going long, long into the future. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you for being here at this special time. I'm speaking from the heart, and I wanted to. And I hope the message received with sincere, sincere thoughtfulness that it's expressed. Good luck this week. I'll tell you what. We always say we want to have the best Oshkosh ever. This will be. Look at those skies. Look at those airplanes. Look at that flight line. And there's a young eagle. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't put him in the script. <laughs> One last thought. The week before the convention to me is more fun than the week of. To watch everybody arrive, to watch it evolve, to watch it build, and to watch the friendships. People I haven't seen each other for 51 weeks, year, 51 weeks of the year come back and act like they've never been gone. The only thing that changes is we all get a little, a little older. That's, that's the fun part. Enjoy it. And thank you very much. I look forward to success, success for EA and I look forward to continuing to see many of you in years to come. Thank you.